Isaac Architect. Yeah, I'm here at our off-site build project. Today's topic, we're we'll talking a little bit about shear and shear resistance. Now, shear is a lateral load. Um, it's a lateral load that is defending against wind and earthquake, right? When the ground shakes, the building wants to move laterally. When the wind blows on the wall, you know, the building wants to, again, move laterally. These aren't uplift loads, they're not gravity loads, they're lateral loads from the side. So, first thing, you look behind me, we're in the garage, we have no windows there. That's like a sheer wall dream, right? Because there is no problem there. We basically have the wall attached to the mud sill, the mud sills bolted down to the foundation wall, and it's a uniform attachment. So as the wind or an earthquake load go to shake that, you get the resistance of all of those panels kind of working in unison to keep that wall from moving laterally. Now, unfortunately, when we build houses, we don't build houses of fully sheathed walls. We want to put windows, doors um, in them, but the most drastic place we challenge here is in our garage because not only do we put a door in, we put a really big door in that takes up the majority of the wall space there. So we have to improvise and pick up the slack that is normally taken in a wall system like that, taken up by the sheathing and the bolts, and we have to use connector hardware to achieve the same hold down in a smaller amount of space that we can achieve over the length of that 54 foot wall. So, over here in the corner you'll see there's some hardware here. These are Simpson HDUs. They have a little washer in here that'll turn, but they basically have a bolt down on the bottom there, but also notice they have a whole series of screw holes here, right? So the screw holes are to attach to the vertical member. The bolt here is to attach down into the foundation system. And they even give you the screws here. These are strong drive SDS. They're a structural screw, quarter inch by two and a half. And they basically come with the hole down. And the screws are for this location. And what the hold downs do is they go one in the wall there, and we will have another one in the wall here. And what they're basically doing is they're grabbing on to this multi stud column and screwing into it and basically attaching that column at as a lateral connection to the mud sill, basically stiffening this opening. When the wind blows on the house or the ground shakes, this garage door opening wants to deform, right? It wants to rotate, basically, either side, depending on which way the earthquake is moving or basically which way the wind is blowing. Um, so this is going to want to deform. So the way that you get around that is, um, one, by the sheathing, and the nailing pattern on the sheathing here is on a three inch grid on the other side of this column. So that helps with that kind of overturning moment. Um, but we need to grab that load and across the header we also have that three inch grid which makes that somewhat of a stiffer connection but it brings that load down here and then we have to make sure that we don't have the door opening lifting off of the mud sill, and that's where the hold down comes into place, right? It keeps this portion of the wall from rotating <clears throat> so that we can take that lateral load and basically use the HDU to take it from the wall and transfer it down into our foundation, which is where we're going to get that most resistance from the racking, right? I mean, the foundation isn't going to move because it's underground and it's against the ground. So attaching to that in a secure fashion using the HDU then uses the strength of that foundation system and then couples it with what we're doing up here so that we get a nice stiff 
portal frame. And the portal frame is just another way, um, it's kind of a structural way to say garage door opening, right? It's a large opening um, to the outside where we need to develop a stiffer moment connection there due to our later, lateral loads. So, anyways, quick rundown. HDUs, they're pretty commonly used um, in a lot of projects. If this, we didn't develop enough lateral load because of the length of the wall, like say this opening was back here, then that might cause us to move to the next level of lateral resistance, which would either be a strong tie wall or strong wall, or in fact, I've done them where we've had to put a steel column in to a steel header and a steel column on the other side of the garage door, and that steel moment frame there becomes the resistance to the lateral load. But because we have the benefit of having a four foot wing wall here, um, we can get away with simply just using those two hold downs and developing enough shear and lateral resistance in that four foot wall. So anyways, just a quick rundown on uh, lateral resistance, hold downs, our good friends at Simpson, helping us to solve, uh, to solve for connection problems. Anyways, I'm Steve Basic Architect. We're out here at the off-site build. Until next time.